Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we are going to test the effects of colored line work and how that changes the way your illustration looks. And your assignment is going to be to use the attached worksheet and to experiment with different colored line work and to see what the results are. But before we look at the actual worksheet, let's just take a look at this ball. Here you can see I have a lit ball and it's got a black line around the outside. Now I've locked the pixels on this layer, so if I paint on it, I can't go outside of that line work. But what if instead of black, I made the line a dark blue? So I'll begin with this blue here and just make it a little darker. Now hopefully you can see that that gives the ball a very different look. You might describe the ball as uh, softer. It might look more realistic. There's a lot of different things that changing from black line work to colored line work can do. Because there's going to be times where stylistically you need to keep the lines there. You're not always making a painterly image with no line work. But black is not necessarily the best choice. So here I'll paint it back to black again. And you can see that this has a very stark look. The color is almost trapped inside of that black. It feels very cold. It has a very sharp definition between the white of the background and the blue of the ball. So let's take a look at this on the gorilla illustration. Now a gorilla has soft fur. And I gave this gorilla armor so it could try out some different ideas. The interplay of soft versus hard. So if something is soft, like this fur, I might want to make the lines have less contrast. So I'll zoom in here, and I've locked the pixels on the line art layer. I'm going to select the gray and make it just a little bit darker. So it's not even a 50% value. And in the shadowed areas, it might even need to be a little darker still. But you can see that has a very different look a much less harsh look than the areas with the black outline. So now that I've made all of these fur lines a lot lighter, you can see that it's got a very different look. It's a more nuanced look. And you can see there's a difference in material between the treatment of the fur and the treatment of the armor. Well, what if we change the armor a little bit as well? We'll make that a similar color, but a lot darker. So this will still have high contrast, but it won't simply be dead black. It'll be a little bit colored, which will activate it a little bit. So there that gives it more of a look of sort of realistic brass. It's a very different look, you can see. It's a really subtle change. I'm only making a line that was black to a little bit orange, but it really activates that material. And you can see in some areas the detail doesn't stand out enough, so I'll need to darken that up a little bit. But the locking the layer pixels here makes this a lot easier. I don't have to worry about painting outside of the lines. I'm just painting with really big strokes, and it's making changes right where I want them to be. So here you can see that my final drawing definitely still has line art, but it doesn't have that harsh cartoon quality that a solid black line around everything would create. Instead, it's a little more nuanced. So I invite you to download the PDF of this gorilla at the bottom of the page and try different color combinations with line art. Or if you want to, do it with your own illustrations. All it requires is that you have your line art on its own layer drawn digitally. This technique does not work as well if you have scanned line art. It really works best if there was never paper to begin with and you just drew the lines on their own layer. So have fun and try out some colored line work. Thanks for coming to Control Paint, guys.